kitchen of Tevye's house. Golde, Zaitl, and Hadl are preparing for the Sabbath. Bielka and Sparinza enter from the outside, carrying the Mama, where should we put these? By the stove! Where is Hava if it's almost the Sabbath? He's in the barn, milking. Fritza, bring me more potatoes. Hava, did you finish milking? Yes, Mama. You were reading again? Why does a girl have to read? Will it bring her a better husband? Here. Mama, Yent is coming. Maybe she's finally found a good match for you. By From your mouth to God's ears. Mama, can we go out and play? Yes, go. But Mama, the men Yente finds, the last one was so old, and he had no hair. You want hair? Marry a monkey. Golden darling, where are your daughters? Such diamonds, such jewels. I'll find every one of them a husband. But you shouldn't be so picky. Even the worst husband, God forbid, is better than no husband. God forbid. Uh, good evening. Is uh, Zaitel in the house? She is busy. Come back later. There's something I'd like to tell her. Later. Mato, I thought I heard you. Finish what you were doing. I said later. All right. What does that poor little tailor Mato want with Zaitel? They've been friends since they were babies. They talk, they play. They are children. From such children come other children. Fiente, you said you had news? Of course, the news. It's about Laser Wolf, the butcher. Out of the whole town, he has cast his eyes on your Zaitel. That's a match for my Zaitel. But Tevye wants a learned man. Listen to me, Golde. Send Tevye to him. Don't tell him what it's about. Laser will tell him this himself. Tevye doesn't like Laser. Laser will win him over. He's a good man. And I don't have to remind you he's well off. True? Of course, true. So you'll tell me how it went. And you don't have to thank me, Golda. Because apart from my fee, which anyway, Laser will pay, it gives me the satisfaction to make people happy. And what better satisfaction is there? So goodbye, Golde, and you're welcome. What did she want, Mama? When I want you to know, I will tell you. Finish the floor. I wonder if Yente has found a husband for you. I'm not anxious for Yente to find me a husband. Not unless it's Moto, the tailor. I didn't ask you. Saito, you're the oldest. Yenda has to make a match for you before she can make one for me. And me. Oh, Yente, Yente. Well, somebody's got to arrange the matches. Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. Find me a find, catch me a catch. Matchmaker, matchmaker, look through your book and make me a perfect match. Matchmaker, matchmaker, I'll bring the veil. You bring the groom. Slender and pale, bring me a ring for I'm longing to be the envy of all I see. For Papa, make him a scholar. For Mama, make him rich as a king. For me, well, I wouldn't harm if he were as handsome as anything. Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. Find me a fine, catch me a catch. Night after night in the dark I'm alone So find me in a match of my own Since when are you interested in a match, Hava? I thought you just had your eye on your books And you had your eye on the rabbi's son Why not? We only have one rabbi and he only has one son Why shouldn't I want the best? Because you're a girl from a poor family. So whatever Yente brings, you'll take. Whatever. Matchmaker, matchmaker, you know that I'm still very young. Please take your time. Up to this minute, I've misunderstood that I could get stuck for good. Do you Yente see that he's gentle? Remember, you are also. Girl can get burned. So bring me 
Exterior of Tevye's house. Tevye enters, pulling his cart. He stops and sits on the wagon seat, exhausted. Dear God, did you have to make my poor old horse lose his shoe just before the Sabbath? It's enough you pick on me, bless me with five daughters, but what have you got against my horse? I, I know it's no shame to be poor, but it's no great honor either. What would have been so terrible if I had a small fortune? If I were a rich man, All day long I'd biddy biddy bum. If I were a wealthy man, I wouldn't have to work hard. If I were a bitty bitty rich, I'd build a big tall house with rooms by the dozen right in the middle of the town. A fine tin roof and real wooden floors below. There would be one long staircase just going up and one even longer coming down and one more leading nowhere just for show If I were a rich man All day long I'd be the bitty bum if I were a wealthy man, I wouldn't have to work hard. If I were a bitty bitty rich, if I were rich, I'd have the time that I lack to sit in the synagogue and pray. Maybe have a seat by the eastern wall And I discuss the holy books with the learned men Seven hours every day That would be the greatest gift of all If I were a rich all day long I'd be the bitty bum If I were a wealthy man I wouldn't have to work hard So Lord who made the lion and the lamb You decreed I should be what I am but would it spoil some bastard on a pan if I were a wealthy man? There he is. Tevye, you forgot my order for the Sabbath. I had a little accident with my horse. Tevye, you didn't bring the rabbi's order. I know, I know, I'm a little late. What is it? In a village called Rashinka, all the Jews were evicted, forced to leave their homes. For what reason? It doesn't say. Maybe the Tsar wanted their land? Maybe a plague? May the Tsar have his own personal plague? Amen. Amen. Why don't you ever bring us some good news? I only read it! It was an edict from the authorities. May the authorities start itching in places that they cannot reach. Amen. Amen. Tavye. Rabbi's order, my cheese. Of course, of course, the cheese. So, you're not from around here, Reb. Reb Perchik. Perchik. So you're a newcomer here. As Abraham said, I am a stranger in a strange land. Moses said that. Forgive me, uh, as King David put it, I'm slow of speech and slow of tongue. That was awesome, Moses. For a man with a slow tongue, he sure talked a lot. My cheese. The Sabbath Sabbath The inn. Laser is waiting impatiently, drumming on the tabletop, watching the door. Red Matka. Yes, Laser Wolf. 
Bring me a, a bottle of your best and two glasses. What's the occasion? A party? Maybe a party, maybe even a wedding. Good evening, innkeeper. Good evening. Good evening, Morka. Good evening, Tevye. Wazar, he wants to buy my new milk cow. Good evening, Reb Lazar. Ah, Tevye, sit down. Here, have a drink. Now, Tevye, I'm sure you know why I wanted to see you. I do, Reb Lazar, but it's no use talking about it. Why not? Why, yes. Why should I get rid of her? Well, you have a few more without her. I see. Today you want one. Today, tomorrow you may want two. Two? What do I do with two? The same as you do with one. I'm talking about your daughter, Zaitl. My daughter, Zaitl? I see her in my butcher shop every Thursday. She's made a good impression on me. I like her. And I would be good to her, Tevye. What do you think? What do I think? You can have a fine conversation with him if you talk about kidneys and livers. On the other end, not everybody has to be a scholar. Maybe I misjudged him. He is a good man. He likes her. He will try to make her happy. What do I think? It's a match. You agree? I agree. Tevye, that's wonderful. To the both of us. To our agreement. To our good health and happiness. And most important, to life. Street outside the inn. Exiting from the inn door are Fiddler, Blazer, Tevye, and others singing to life. All except Tevye exit, calling good night. Constable enters. Good evening, Tevye. What's the celebration? My oldest daughter, Zaito. She's getting married. Oh, my congratulations, Tevye. Thank you, thank you, Your Honor. Tevye, I have a piece of news that I think I should tell you. As a friend, we have received news that received orders that sometime soon in this district is to have a little unofficial demonstration. A program here? We're just some mischief so that if an inspector comes through, he will see that we have done our duty. Congratulations again, Zepi, for your daughter. Thank you, Your Honor. Goodbye. Dear God, you have to send me news like that today of all days. It's true that we are the chosen people, but once in a while, can you choose somebody else? Oh, anyways... Thank you for sending a husband for my title. Lakayam. Outside Tevye's house, Perchik is teaching Hoddle, Sprinza, Bialka while they peel potatoes at the bench. Now, children, I will tell you of the story from the Bible that of how Laban cheated Jacob, who worked for him. It will show you that the Bible clearly teaches that you can never trust an employer. Understand? Papa isn't up yet? No, Mama. Enough lessons. We have to do Papa's work today. He staggered home last night and fell into the bed like a dead man. I couldn't get a word out of him. Put that away and clean the barn. And call me when Papa gets up. That was a very interesting lesson, Birchick. Thank you. But I don't think the rabbi would agree with your strange ideas. <laughs> uh, certainly, any new idea to you would be strange. Remember, the Lord said, let there be light. Yes, but he was not talking to you personally. Good day. You have spirits. Even a little intelligence, perhaps. <laughs> Thank you. And you are very brave. Do you know that in the city, boys and girls can hold hands together? They even dance together, new dances like this. I learned it in Kiev. Do you like it? It's very nice. There, we've just changed an old custom. Yes, well, you're welcome. I mean, thank you. I mean, good day. Good day.
Bielka, spirit, what's your name? Hado, Papa. Where is Zaito? Where is Zaito? She's in the barn. Call her out. Uh, Red Perchek, how did the lesson go today? So I think we made a good beginning. Ah, he is finally up. What happened last night? Did you see Laser Wolf? What did he say? Uh, Zaito, Zaito, my lamb, come here, come here, please. Uh, you are to be congratulated. Laser Wolf has asked for your hand. The butcher? And what do you say, Zaito? What can she say? A bride! I must thank Yente. My Zaito, a bride! Mazel tov, Zaito. You call that a mazel tov? Come on, mazel tov! Zaito. Congratulations, Zaito, for getting a rich man. Again with you and the rich? What's wrong with being rich? <laughs> it's no reason to marry. Money is the world's curse. Well, may the Lord smite me with it, and may I never recover. Zaito, my child, why are you so silent? Aren't you happy with Lazar and the wedding? Oh, Papa, I don't want to marry him. I can't marry him. I will be unhappy with him. All my life will be unhappy. But Zaito, we made an agreement. With us, an agreement is an agreement. Is that more important than I am, Papa? Don't force me, please. All right, Zaito, I won't force you. Oh, thank you, Papa. Reptive. Oh, not now, Moto. I have problems. That's what I want to speak to you about. I can help. You can help. I have a match for Zaito. This is a perfect match. An exact fit. Oh, Moto, stop talking like a tailor and tell me who it is. It's me. Myself. You must be crazy. He, he, he must be crazy. Arranging a match for yourself? What are you, everything? You'll even perform the ceremony? Heitl and I gave each other our pledge more than a year ago that we would marry. We gave each other a pledge? Yes, Papa. We gave each other a pledge. Gave each other a pledge? It's unheard of. It's absurd. You gave each other a pledge? Where do you think you are? In Moscow? In Paris? Where do they think they are? In America? Doesn't anybody ask the father anymore? I've wanted to ask you for some time, Reptevye. You are just a poor tailor. Even a poor tailor is entitled to some happiness. And I promise you, Reptevier, your daughter will not starve. Beginning to talk like a man. On the other hand, what kind of match would that be with a poor tailor like Moto? On the other hand, things could never get worse. They could only get better. Look at my daughter's face. She loves him. She wants him. Look at my daughter's eyes, so, so hopeful. Tradition, tradition. Ah, well, children, when shall we arrange the wedding? Oh, thank you, Papa. <laughs> you won't be sorry. I won't be sorry? I'm sorry already. Golde, what am I going to tell Golde? Oh, God, help! Modal and Zeidel walk hand in hand. Delirious that Tevye has agreed to their marriage. Moto, you were wonderful. It was a miracle. Wonder of wonders, miracle of miracles, God took up Daniel once again, stood by his side and miracle of miracles, walked him through the lion's den. Wonder of wonders, miracle of miracles, I was afraid that God would frown. But like he did so long ago at Jericho, God just made a wall fall down. When Moses soft in Pharaoh's heart, that was a miracle. When God made the waters of the Red Sea part, that was a miracle too. But of all God's miracles, large and small, the most miraculous one of all is that out of a worthless lump of clay, God has made a man today.
Wonder of wonders, miracle of miracles, God took a tailor by the hand, stood by his side, and miracle of miracles led him to the promised land. When David slew Goliath, that was a miracle. When God gave us manna in the wilderness, that was a miracle too. One of all God's miracles, large and small, the most miraculous one of all, is the one I thought could never be. God has given you to me. Exterior of Tevye's house. Hoddel enters petulantly, followed by Perchik, who is carrying a suitcase. Please don't be upset, Hoddle. Why should I be upset? If you must leave, you must. They expect me in Kiev tomorrow evening. So you told me. Then goodbye. Oh, Hoddle, your father, the others here, think what happened at Zeidel's wedding was a cloudburst, and it's over, and everything will now be peaceful again. It won't. You understand. Yes, I suppose I do. Goodbye, Patrick. Before I go, there is a certain question I wish to discuss with you. A political question. Yes? The question of marriage. This is a Political question? Yes, and I personally am in favor of it. Are you asking me to marry you? <laughs> in a theoretical sense, I, yes, I am. I was hoping that you were. And, and we can consider ourselves engaged even though I am going away. I will send for you as soon as I can. It's, it will be a hard life for me. But it will be less hard if we are together. Good evening. Good evening, Reb Tevye. I have some bad news. I must leave this place. I'm sorry, Perchek. We will all miss you. But you can also congratulate me. Congratulations. What for? We're engaged. Engaged? Yes, Papa, we're engaged. No, 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 you're not. I know, I know. You like him and he likes you, but you're going away and you're staying here. So have a nice day, Perchek. Goodbye. Papa, you don't understand. I understand. I give my permission to Motel and Zaito, so you feel that you also have a right. But my answer is still no. Papa, you don't. We will find somebody else for you here in Anatevka. Tevka. we are not asking for your permission. You are not asking for my permission. But we would like your blessing, Baba. I cannot believe my own ears. My blessing? For what? For going over my head? At least with Saitel and Motul, they, they asked me, they begged me. But now, if I like it or not, she'll marry him. As soon as I can, I will send for her and marry her. You're going over my head? It's unheard of. Absurd. For this, they want to be blessed. I look her up in her room. I couldn't, I shouldn't, but look at my daughter's eyes. She loves him. Tradition, tradition. Very well, children, you have my blessing and my permission. Oh, thank you, Papa. You don't know how happy that makes me. What else was there to do? Thank you, Papa. Thank you, Papa. Golde, Golde. Oh, I've just been talking to Perchek and Hodo. They do seem to be very, very fond of each other. Well? Well, I've decided to give them my permission to become engaged. What? Without even asking me? Who asks you? I'm the father. Who is he? He has nothing, absolutely nothing. But Hodel loves him. 
So what can we do? It's a new world, this love. Go there. Do you love me? Do I what? Do you love me? Do I love you? With our daughters getting married and there's trouble in the town, you're upset, you're worn out, go inside, go lie down! Maybe it's indigestion. Go there, I'm asking you a question. Do you love me? You're a fool! I know, but do you love me? Do I love you? For 25 years I've washed your clothes, cooked your meals, cleaned your house, given you children, milked the cow. After 25 years, why talk about love right now? Gode, the first time I met you was on our wedding day. I was scared. I was shy. I was nervous. So was I. But my father and my mother said we'd learn to love each other. And now I ask you, Golden, do you love me? I'm your wife. I know, but do you love me? Do I love him? For 25 years I've lived with him, fought with him, starved with him. Twenty-five years, my bed is his. If that's not love, what is? Then you love me. I suppose I do. Well, I suppose I love you. It doesn't change a thing, but even so, after 25 years, it's nice to know. Models Taylor Shop. Motel and Hava are in the shop. Hava exits from the shop and meets Fiedka outside. Hava, let me talk to your father. No, that would be the worst thing. I'm sure of it. Well, let me try. No, I'll talk to him. I promise. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good day. Good afternoon. Good day. What were you and he talking about? Nothing, but Papa, Fiat and I have known each other for a long time now, and... Ava, you must not forget who you are and who that man is. He has a name, Papa. Old creatures on Earth have a name, Ava. Fiat is not a creature. Fiat is a man. Who says that he isn't? It's just that he is a different kind of man. As the good book says, each shall love his own kind, which means a bird may love a fish, but where would they build a home together? The world is changing, Papa. No, Hava, some things never change. We don't feel that way. We? Fiedka and I, we want to be married. Are you out of your mind? But Papa- No, never talk about this again. Never see him again. Do you understand me? Yes, Papa. I understand you. Exterior of railroad station, morning. Hoddle enters and walks over to the bench. Tevye enters, carrying her suitcase. You don't have to wait for the train, Papa. You'll be late for your customers. Is he in bad trouble, that hero of yours? Perchik did nothing wrong. If he did nothing wrong, he wouldn't be in trouble. What wrongs did Joseph do, and Abraham, and Moses? And they had troubles. And where is he now, this Joseph of yours? Far, Papa. In a settlement in Siberia. Siberia? Hodl, he asked you to leave your father and mother and join him and marry you there? He did not ask me to go, Papa. I want to go. To make you understand 
Why I do what I do Why I must travel to a distant land Far from the home I love Once I was happily content to be As I was where I was Close to the people who are close to me Here in the home I love That a man would come who change the shape of my dream. Helpless now I stand with him, watching older dreams grow dim. Oh, what a melancholy choice this is, wanting hope. any home but his, leaving the home I love. There where my heart has settled long ago, I must go, I must go. Who could imagine I'd be Outside Tevye's house, Motel and Zytel are packing baggage into a cart and wagon. Sprinza and Bielka enter with bundles. Where will we live in America? Uh, with Uncle Abraham, but uh, he doesn't know it yet. I wish you and the baby were with us. We'll be staying in Warsaw until we have enough money to join you. Motel, be careful with these. My mother and father, may they rest in peace, gave them to us on our wedding day. Come, children. Help me pick the rest of the clothes. Golda, darling, I had to see you before I left, because I have such news for you. Golda, darling, do you remember what I told you yesterday? I didn't know where to go, what to do with these old bones. Now I know, and I'll tell you. Golda, darling, all my life I've dreamed of going to one place. And now I'll walk, I'll crawl, I'll get there. Guess where? You'll never guess. Every year at Passover, what do we say? Next year in Jerusalem. Next year in the Holy Land. You're going to the Holy Land. You guessed. And you know why? In my sleep, my husband, my Aaron, he came to me and he said, Gente, go to the Holy Land. Usually, of course, I wouldn't listen to him because, good as he was, too much brains he wasn't blessed with. But in my sleep, it's a sign, right? Of course, right. So somehow or other, I'll get to the Holy Land. And you know, you want to know what I'll do there? I'm a matchmaker, no? So I'm going to the Holy Land to help our people increase and multiply. It's a mission. So goodbye, Golda. Goodbye, Yente. Be well and go in peace. All day we have to hurry. Yente is looking at the goblets. We'll, we'll all be together soon. Motto, Zaito, and the baby. They'll come too, you'll see. And Hoggle and Perchik? When will we see them? Well, do they come visiting us from Siberia every Sabbath? They're together. They're happy, Golda. The other children will be with us. Not all. All. Come, Golda, we have to get finished. I have to sweep the floor. Sweep the floor? Oh. I don't want to leave a dirty house. To leave a dirty house. Zaito, are they finished inside? Almost, Papa. Hava, Papa will see you. I want to say goodbye to him. He will not listen. But at least he will hear. Hava! 
Papa, we came to say goodbye. We are leaving this place. We are going to Krakow. We cannot stay among people who do such things to others. We wanted you to know that. Goodbye, Mama. Papa. Come, Hava. Goodbye, Hava. Fiatka. God be with you. God be with you. We will write to you in America, if you like. We will be staying with Uncle Abram. Yes, Mama. We have to catch a train. Bielka, Sprinter, put the bundles on the wagon. And, and Zaito, don't forget the baby. Goodbye, Papa. Goodbye, Mottle. Bye, Mama. <laughs> We're going on a train. And the train, train and the boat are going, going on a train. And the Stop that! Behave yourselves. We're not in America yet. Come, children, let us go. Thank you.